Alright, we just have one more cave left in Perplexing Pool. It's the most infamous in the game. We're not going back to Valley of Repose. That world is very difficult. Uh, let's go back to Awakening Wood. I was debating ending the stream here, but no, I think I can keep going for at least a little bit. Awakening Wood. I think we can do one more relatively quick dungeon. Alright, we both got full HP again. Alright. So the next dungeon is guarded by an electric fence, so we're going to have to knock that down. So after destroying this uh, gate and the pool of water around it... Yeah, that's that's the gate we right there. There you go, buddy. You stay there. I think this will be another one where I bring 20 of everyone. I'll get some more red berries beforehand. May as well. There we go. That'll give us another spray. Come on down. We definitely don't need 55 yellow for this. <laughs> Not a chance. Put them all back. The reason I'm putting them all back is because if I only put them back until, like, we have 20 left out, we'll keep the leaf Pikmin. I don't want to keep the leaf Pikmin. <laughs> I technically think we don't really need blue Pikmin for this war upcoming cave, but I like to bring them nevertheless. And I do know there's one cave in the game where it's like, oh, there are no water hazards. It's like, but there are. And I actually think it's this one. Alright, 20 of everything again. When in doubt, it's never, it's rarely a bad idea to take 20 of every Pikmin, but... Oh yeah, and there's the bitter berries up here. Okay, getting a hundred Pikmin up here might be a little problematic. Do, 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 do. No, you don't get to fall off the stump. Here we go. This is the next cave. I recommend doing this long before shower room. So, you have at last reached the higher ground. Congratulations are in order. <laughs> I have the high ground! <laughs> Wait. What is this? My seismic sensors are picking up tremors deep below. What force is at work in the depths of this planet? I don't know. Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> that was a really odd sound for my headphones. Sonic, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> you have the high ground. Yes, indeed. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. We are entering the Bulblax Kingdom. Yeah, okay. This is the Kingdom. It says there are no water hazards, no poison hazards. I think there are technically not poison hazards, but there are things that you need poison Pikmin for, and I definitely think there are water hazards. So, yeah, we're doing 20 of everything. Geronimo! Bulbox Kingdom might be a little tough, but I think it should be at least a lot easier than the freaking shower room. <laughs> Alright, Bul plus Bulbox Kingdom has a great theme song. Sub level 1. Alright, alright, you little living carrots. Let's clean up the kingdom. Oh! Sure, let's just start with this.
Why would you put him so close? Why would you put Big Boy so close to my base? <laughs> and he's facing me, so I can't sneak up from behind. <laughs> Did you forget to bring red, Pikmin? Don't worry, fam. We got you. Here, take a red flower. <laughs> Why, thank you. How gracious of you. do this properly. Okay! There's a little guy here that I didn't even know was here. Okay, no, no, okay. That's good, that's good, okay. So that's actually not good. But okay, fine. We'll take the stuff back to base. Maybe we don't have to attack the other guy. Maybe the other guy can just be allowed to take a nap, live in peace, and we don't have to loot his corpse, but I bet he has a treasure. I bet he has a treasure. So yeah, this is supposed to be your first introduction to the orange bulb orbs, but... Oh well. Ooh! Emerald clover. Very nice. The crystal clover. It's beautiful. Oh! Oh! Oh, the, the game was nice for once. We don't have to take on... Okay, Sleeping Boy can just sleep in peace. I was going to have to do a something where I'm like, I'm going to lure him out of a captain. He goes back in to sleep again, but this time he'll be facing the wall so we can sneak up from behind. We don't need to do that. Not everything has to die. All right, Bull Black's Kingdom sub level 2. Shouldn't be too hard. You get, you get some of the bigger bull warbs, but eh. Alright, big sandy pit. Ooh. Oh, fiery dweevils. Eh, you guys ain't too bad. In fact, as far as dweevils go, I think you're kind of bottom of the barrel a little bit. Bye bye. Fire geysers. Ooh, is that a diamond up on top? Oh, we're grabbing that. Yeah, we are. Okay. Grab the corpses, Put, get them out of here. Alright. Alright, I see those fire geysers up there, so... I did not want a yellow Pikmin up there, but, well... It's too late now, I suppose. Go up there, grab... Grab me my gemstone. <laughs> Why shouldn't I have it? It's mine, after all. And I believe that's the only treasure on this floor? But Wax Kingdom is pretty simple. There's just a couple of tough enemies. Ooh. That's beautiful. The Tear Stone. It does look like a teardrop. Very beautiful. I like how we're getting... It's the Bull Wax Kingdom, so we're getting all of these, like, gems and riches. I fully expect us to get a crown later on. <laughs> Whee! Oh, yeah, compared to Shower Room, this is a piece of cake. The Bulblax Kingdom sub-level free. Ho, ho. Oh, hey, Wivering Ball Hog. Okay, I guess if you didn't bring white Pikmin, you can still dig up the faint here, because you'll be able to get white Pikmin from the candy pop bud, but still. It's nice to bring your own. Oh, oh no, not female sheer grubs. <laughs> However will I beat them? Alright, nice spiral shell. 
Not super regal. Not worth that much, but hey. The <laughs> Olimar Knight shoal, or shell. Wow! What's with all of these one treasure sub-levels? Okay, that's a lot of Wyvering Blowhogs. Smear him! Kill the bugs. I don't like them. All right. Double nectar. Cool. Don't need it, but it's there if we actually we will need it because we're gonna make more white Pikmin. Alright, there's the white flower over here. We're gonna, I think, use up some blue Pikmin. Oh, dog on it. I, I don't like how this guy's blocking it. The little tool. Because I don't want to accidentally throw the wrong Pikmin into that candy pop, bud. There we go. Yes. Good thing we got the nectar. Get more white Pikmin? I don't think we need a whole lot more of white Pikmin after this. They're nice, but like once once you got like 30 of them, you really don't need any more. I'm sure people like the hardcore Pikmin two people are like, no, no, they're so fast those. I guess they're fast, but they're not great warriors. And you don't need a whole lot of Pikmin that are super fast. I'd much rather have purple Pikmin. Who you actually do need a lot of if you want 100%. We'll see why later in the game. Dog on it. I still have some purple Pikmin that are leafs. That's not good. I don't like it. I don't like leaf Pikmin. Alright, well thus far, this is, I mean, it's been pretty easy. Bulbox Kingdom, cell level 4. Alright, this is looking a bit bigger now. This is looking a little bit bigger. Oh boy, and we got electric fences. Ooh, more purple Pikmin. Ooh. We'll save that for the end. Oh! Iridescent Glint Beetle. Definitely throw Pikmin on this guy's head. Because if you do, he drops a treasure. There we go. Ooh! Just a lump of pure crystal, or is that a diamond? The crystal cane. This that's not the crystal cane from Paper Mario. You can't fool me. Okay, we got some electric beetles. And some electric fences. Ah oh, you jerk! Yeah, take that. That's what you get for dumping a frog on my face while I'm trying to take out a le an electric fence. Get him out of here. Ooh! Ancient Chinese coin. The unknown merit. <laughs> oh, and there we go. All the treasures for the floor, I guess. Well, if that's the case, we don't even need to bother going up there.
I think at this point we'll throw some of the yellows in. Oh yeah, our army of purples grows! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best captain in the game? <laughs> Louie's the best captain. Don't you forget it! Okay, it's up here. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I kind of wish I had known that was there earlier. Get him out of here. Bring him back! Alright, I guess now we'll sacrifice some red dudes to get more purples. Again, wish I wish I knew this flower was here before I drank up all the nectar. But oh well. There we go. Look at all those purple Pikmins. Oh, it's so good. Delve deeper, yes, please. I love how fast the game saves. That's really nice. Bull Black's Kingdom sub-level 5. Where are we going? This looks like a tiny place. I hear snoring. Oh. So you put him right next to my base. Wow, this is a dark room. This is really a dark room. Different sub-levels have different varying degrees of... Not cool, game. Not cool. Alright. You guys stay there. It is safe. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure enough. So this guy has a treasure. Okay, now we now we run like the Dickens. So now he should go back to his hole, but this time he'll be facing the opposite way, so we'll be able to get the, the jump on him. Guarding a treasure. Huh. It's weird. Guess I didn't need to deal with him after all. Oh well. Alright, Louie, I think you should try the ice first. Okay. Yeah, this, they, I, yeah, see, this is, this is how it's going to be. <laughs> oh, hey, Nectar, that's good. Get over here. Joink. Alright. 
take up. Ooh, wow. That's a big shell. Either that or it's some kind of root. You decide. Is that a root or is that a shell? Could go either way. I have seen shells like that before. I have seen roots like that before. <laughs> Nah, that's a shell. That's a shell. Maybe not! Anxious Sprout. Is that a bamboo shoot? Probably. Okie dokie! This might actually be the last sub-level of Bullwax Kingdom. Could be. <laughs> 